Crafty Mart here. Hello and welcome to day five of my beginner level Minecraft tutorial. Whoa, let's slow this down a little. A couple of things going on here. Got an iron golem destroying a hostile mob in front of the garden. Sweet. There's also an enderman behind the garden. They move really fast and are quite hard to kill. If you look at them right in the eyes, they'll come right at you and attack you. Probably didn't look like much, but that thing is three blocks high. I have a plan for them that I'll show you in a minute. But first, I'm going to grab the food that I put in these furnaces yesterday. I guess that's some chicken and some beef. Look both ways. So here's the plan. I'm building a two block high enderman proof shelter. I need about two blocks deep. Uh, I don't see it anywhere, which is probably a good thing. Not that I want to attract it. I don't have any good armor yet. And it would take quite a few swipes from my stone sword to finish it off. Risky proposition at best. Nope. Nowhere to be found. So I guess I'll do some mowing of the lawn. Two good things come out of this. The first is that some grass cuttings yield wheat seeds that can be planted as crops. They can also be used to attract or breed chickens. And the other is that it helps with visibility. Somewhat. Especially cutting the taller grass. I'm going to get rid of as much of that as possible eventually. On my way to the cave, I'll grab some of these berries. By the way, to get back on track, the objective today is to find some iron ore. Hopefully to make a suit of armor and a couple of implements. Got some more of this. So this spruce tree is in my way. I'm gonna knock it down. It's gonna make it easier for me to access this entrance. The leaves will eventually fall. They may drop sticks or saplings. The saplings can be planted to grow more trees. Yay for reforestation, or whatever that conservation effort is called. All right, time to light this place up a little more. Down here. Good. No bad mobs. Take some, some of the stone out for easier access. And there's a little iron ore. Grab that shortly. Of course, I'm not just randomly picking stone here. This stuff is useful for implements as well as for building. I'll do some uh, sorting of inventory here. More lighting up. I guess while I'm down here, I may as well grab some of this coal. It's just sitting there. You can never have too much coal, trust me. And besides, you see those little green dots? That's XP coming at you. The more coal you mine, the more XP you get. Just a quick note that some uh, ores will give you more XP than this. Redstone, uh, some stuff in the nether. And look at that, some iron ore to boot in behind the coal. What a bonus. And we'll clear up some of this cobblestone to allow some more light to get in here. 
clear off some of that for access. I'm going to come up here and uh, kind of uh, clear a path just in case I need to uh, make an escape this way. Never hurts to have more than one way out of a situation. Grab this iron ore while I'm at it. And take this stuff. Some more over here. Nice bit of iron ore in this cave, gotta admit. Wonder how much I have. Some more coal over here. I grab that too. Gather some more XP while I'm at it. And clear off some of this and go down here for a look-see. Place a few torches to kind of light the place up a little bit. Got to go in here cautiously. You never know if there's a mob in here, right? And there isn't. So off we go. Let's, let's, uh, let's go this way. Yeah, this is where we were yesterday. We'll grab this coal with a pickaxe, not a torch. Then this coal. And we'll dig our way down here. See what's down here. Lay a torch. Yikes! That's quite the drop. Good thing I didn't come barreling down there. I would have probably lost some health points for sure. All right, time to see if we can find another way down that way. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be a way to get in here this way. Oh, good thing I wasn't standing on top of that. There's one reason not to dig straight down. If you dig straight down, you take the chance of uh, that. <laughs> Let's change pickaxes there, or grab a new one, I should say. Yeah, you take a chance on falling down into uh, whatever, right? Could be just a rock down below, or <laughs> for all you know, it could be lava. And if it's lava, you're probably done for. So I'm going to dig a little more. Yeah, that's pretty far. Probably not enough to kill me, but do some damage for sure. So I think I'm going to build the rest of my way down here. Block there, just so I don't go down there. And we'll carefully edge over this way. Block there, 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 and there. And here. Let's go up this way. There's some iron ore there, we'll grab that. But first, put a ledge. I think there's something over there, but... There's coal for sure. I think there's something nasty too. So we'll grab this iron, iron ore, more ledge, take this, light that up over there. 
Down we go. And we'll light this up as well. It's kind of dark down here. All right. So this part of the cave looks like it's getting rather elaborate. I'm going to forego that for now. Probably come down here later at some point. For now, I'm going to lay down a two block ledge since I know that mobs can't scale two blocks. And we'll have, head back the other way. It's probably getting dark anyway. But first, we'll grab some of that iron ore. And yep, there's an Enderman over there. I thought I heard something. Yeah, and there's a creeper in front of him. Better skedaddle out of here. So time to head back to the church slash base. Normally at this point I'd be pressing W twice quickly to run. Knowing that it's, it's getting dark. It'll be night very, very soon. It already is actually. Close that door. Up this ladder. And that is it for day five. Good night all. And we'll see you on day six.